Okay. Fancy sweaters of soap. All right, just so we're clear to start, we're going to do this. This is not a half hour talk. Uh, I didn't do the whole thing. I okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so this is the Gilded Rose Kata. Um, I was actually working on this, uh, just like a simple string kata, and then um, Jim Wyrick, who was the best way last week, has like this iron dude. So um, he, it was originally written in C sharp, and um, he translated it into a Ruby kata. And the premise is that you're inheriting a very poorly written code base. Um, they, there's like this giant paragraph of instructions, but the basics are that you are running a store that has an inventory, um, and the inventory needs to be updated daily. So all of the items in your inventory have a sell-in value, which shows the number of days that you have left to sell the item before it's expired. Um, they also have a quality value, which shows how valuable the item is. And then at the end of each day, the system lowers the sell-in by one, or I mean, it depends on what the item is, but it lowers the sell-in and it lowers the quality for every item in your store. Um, so then they have these extra rules. So um, once the sell-in value has reached zero, the quality goes down twice as fast. Um, a quali the quality of an item, item can never be negative. Um, the age three, which is an item in the store, increases um, instead of decreasing as the item gets older. Um, the quality of an item can never be more than 50. Um, so for us, which I guess is a World of Warcraft reference, yep. I don't know, I wasn't nerdy enough yeah. to play that in high school. It never has to be sold or decreased in quality. Um, backstage passes like the H3 increase in quality um, as the sell-in value approaches, and the quality increases um, by two when there's 10 days left, and then by three when there's um, less than five days until the, the sell-in sell by date. And, um, and then after the concert, the quality drops immediately to zero. So my refactoring goals were to, um, I'll show you the code in just a second, but there's a lot of concretions in it and I wanted to change them into abstractions. Um, also make it readable and understandable. I had to go through this like, I don't know, 10 times before I understood what was happening and then extract repeated code in the methods. So, Um, so this is the this is the like legacy code that we're inheriting. So this this is one method called update quality, and it passes in an array of items. And for um, so it, it's going to check if it's not in free and not the backstage pass, and if the item quality is greater than zero, and if it's not support for us, then it will <laughs> decrease the quality by one. Um, otherwise, it will check if the item's quality is less than fifty. Um, if it's left, less than 50, it's going to increase it by one because then we're talking about the brain and the backstage passes. Um, if it is backstage passes, then it's going to check um, for those two conditions where if it's within a certain number of days that it needs to be sold, it will increase the quality again. Um, and then if it's within under six days of being sold, it will increase the quality again if it's less than 50. And then um, if the item is sold for us, then, or not so for us, then it's going to decrease the selling date. And um, so for us, it said never had to be sold. So if it is still for us, I won't do that. And then, um, so this is kind of saying like if the item is expired, like if it's, if it needs to be sold in less than zero days, uh, then if it's not free and it's not the backstage passes and the quality is greater than zero and it's not so for us, then decrease the item quality by one um, otherwise, um, so this took me a while to figure out, but what this is, this will only get um, hit if the item is the backstage pass. So if the, um, <laughs> it's hard for me to explain. <laughs> um, so if it's expired, like it said, um, the backstage pass, the quality instantly goes to zero. So it's taking its current quality and subtracting its current quality, which will always equal zero. So it will set the quality from zero. Otherwise, um, increase the quality by one, and to be honest, I got I got lost there, so I'm not sure what part of the, the that is. But um, okay, so what I kind of found was that there's three main things happening here. There's this if else block right there, and then there's um, an if right there, and then there's this if ending here. So there's the what needs to happen to everything. There's what needs to happen to decrease the selling date. And then there's what happens if the item is expired. 
So let's start with uh, this, since it's just shorter than the top one. Um, okay, so um, this is pretty confusing to understand when you have like, if it's not this, and if it's not this. So if we change it around and we um, do like the, the positive of that, like if it is this. So um, let's start with h3. So if we say if item.name equals h, actually no, let's back up from there. Um, so one of my goals was to change the concretions into abstractions. So we can make um, constants for this h3. Okay, so then if we come back down to where we were, um, so we'll say if the item is H3, and you can tell what, what it should do if it's H3 because it's going to be the else, to, else part, part of this. So we'll come down to else and it's going to do this right here. So we can take that out, put it right here, we'll put an else just right now, and another end. If we run that, it passes. Okay. Um, so we've got the H3, which means we can then take out this and <coughs> else in the end. And uh, so another one was backstage pass. So then if we do else if item name equals backstage pass. And the um, so if it's not backstage pass, it's going to do this stuff. Otherwise, it's going to do this. So we'll get rid of this and move it up to here. And watch it pass. Okay. Mm -hmm. You need it. Oh, thank you. Okay, we'll clear all the failing tests and do it. Okay, last time. Um, and then, so we have the, uh, the backstage path, which means we can get rid of this, if, and then the end, and then also so on. And <coughs> the last one is still for us. So this is a weird one. It has it, the if it's not still for us, and it doesn't have any else. So we don't really know what it does, but I want to be able to get this out of here. So if we just do else if item name is still for us, and we're going to put nothing. But this will catch if there's anything else so far as what it needs to be. So now we can take out this. And that should pass. Okay. Um, so then I see two things that probably can be extracted out into a method here. There's this, which decreases the quality, and there's this, which increases the quality. So um, let's call this uh, decrement quality. We'll pass in the item. We'll make a method. And that should be. Um, and then we can do the same thing for this one. And we'll call it increment quality because it's um, increasing. Um, so if you look at these two methods, they're, they look very similar, and um, we can combine them, I think, by... So the, the only difference here is that one is increasing, one is decreasing, and if you look at the if statement, it's going to apply to anything, because the item quality can never be greater than 50 anyway, whether, whether it's increasing or decreasing. And um, the item quality can't go negative, which was part of the rules. So we can combine those two um, things that it checks. 
into, we'll make a method called change quality. Um, the one thing that we're going to have to do differently is that we're going to have to pass this in as an argument um, because in one case it's adding and in one case it's subtracting. So in one case we'll have to pass in a positive number and in one case a negative. So we'll, choose, we'll put a, another argument here and we'll call it um, change by it. It's probably not a good name. Um, and then we can take this and put it in here and then we'll just add the other thing that it's checking from here. And then um, instead of item quality plus equals one, it will be item quality plus equals that thing that we passed in change by. So if we try this with um, decrement quality, we'll try change quality, and then we'll pass in negative one. And I think that should work. Is that if second if actually necessary? No. In that oh, second. thank you. Yeah. So that passed. Um, so that was decrement quality, so we should be able to get rid of this method. And then if we do the same thing to increment quality, we can do a change quality, and uh, that would be positive one. And which means we can get rid of this method. And everything's still passing. So the one other thing that, um, that I see that we can do in this <coughs> right here is that this is checking if it's expired. So we can turn this into a predicate method and just say expired item. And we can create a method down here. And just paste that in there. And that should pass. Okay, so there's not much else I can do here right now. Um, this I'm going to hold on to, just because there's not a lot to do right there. And then for the actual like decreasing and increasing the quality for all the items, um, it would make most sense to um, take each, so like see if it's age free, and then what do you want to do if it's age free? So we'll do case item name. Um, actually, before I do that, this right here. <coughs> is exactly what we replaced with this. So we can copy that and put it here. And that passes. And same thing with right here. And that passes. Um, and then this, even though the if and the end is broken up, we can put the method here. And we can get rid of one of the ends. Um, okay, so now we can do the case. So let's start with backstage paths. So when it's backstage paths, so this if is saying if it's not backstage paths, so we need to go to the else. Um, and so anything that happens here should happen for the backstage pass. So we'll copy all of that, paste it up here. And since it's already checking if it's backstage pass, we can get rid of this right here. In the end. Um, and then we can get rid of this right here. And then we can also get rid of this. Um, because it's catching backstage pass right here, so we don't need to check that it's not backstage pass. Um, so we did backstage pass, then we can do when age free. And so this is if it's not age free right here, and so we'll go to the else, and if it's age free, we just need to change the quality. And that means we can get rid of this and the else in the end. Um, so we have backstage pass, age free, and the other one is still for us. And again, this one, it has the if, it's not still for us, but it doesn't have anything to do if it's still for us, actually still for us. So we'll put nothing for right now. And then we can get rid of this because that will catch on the 
Wednesday for us. And then this right here is actually the same um, as the change quality negative because it's decreasing the quality. Um, and then, so this stuff down here, all it's doing is saying, if the item is expired by the time all this stuff gets through, what do you want to do? So, if it was something that it was happening to all the things the same, I would leave it down here, but since it's different for each one, it kind of makes sense to put it into the, like, when backstage pass, when age free, when silver and so on. Um, I want to move this up top. just so that's happening first. Um, since this is gonna change the selling date um, by one, down one, we would need to change this to 10 and a five. Okay. Um, so then, uh, like, if we wanted to put what happens to an expired backstage pass, we can put it down here. So, if the item is backstage pass, it's going to be this line, so we can take that out. And we can say that if expired, that should go. Um, and then for H3, we can do the same thing. So we can take this out and say change the quality if expired. And then sulfurous, it wasn't going to do anything for everything else that's not a free backstage pass or sulfurous. It's going to change the quality, so we can take that else and put it with this if it's expired. And then we can get rid of all this. similar is these lines, 27 and 28, look very similar to 22 and 23. The only difference is that, that um, the value that it's changing by is either negative or positive. So we can actually make a, um, a new class item up here. Um, I'm really nervous about spelling initialize now. I, I teach seventh graders and today we got stuck in, and they had just forgotten the I right there. And like we spent, I don't know, 20 minutes debugging why was it not working. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm not alone. <laughs> 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 I was like, why isn't this working? They have like the adder reader and so um okay, so we'll initialize it with um the item and the change by value since that's something that will be different for each one. Um, and then we'll put readers on that. And we'll make a method called update. And update's gonna just do these lines right here. So. And instead of one, it's going to be the change by value. And okay, so let's see if this works. So when HB will do item updater dot new and initialize it with the item, and where you had the positive number, so we'll do one and call update on it. So that's worked. Okay, that worked. Um, so then we can do the same thing right here, and we should actually be able to use the same line and just change the one to negative. So for backstage pass, this is where it gets kind of weird. So um, these always increment by one, either one or negative one. This one is weird. So what's happening here is that regardless, it will change the item's quality by, by one. And then if it's going to sell in less than 10 days, it will change it another time. So we're up to two. And then if it's going to sell in less than five days, it's going to change it three times. So will, the number will be three. And if the item is expired, then it's going to take whatever quality it has minus whatever quality it has and it will set it equal 
um, to that, which will be zero. So it can either be zero, one, two, or three. So we can create um, a class that inherits from item, item updater. We'll call it um, backstage pass updater. And we can make a method in here. And um, we want it to make this value. So we can just call the method that. So I'm going to cut all this stuff out and then we can kind of play around with it. So if the item is expired, we want it to, we want the change by value to be negative item quality. So whatever it is and then minus itself. So we can say if expired, then negative item quality. Um, otherwise, if the, um, so if the item is gonna sell in less than 10 days, we want the value to be two because it was going to change it once right here and then once right here. So um, if item selling is less than 10, it'll be two. So that takes care of this right here. And if the item will sell in less than five days, uh, we want it to change three times. We want that to catch first because like, if an item is going to sell in two days, we don't want it to get stuck here. So. Um, and that was going to be three. And otherwise, it will be one. Okay, so then if we do backstage pass updater and initialize it with the item, and we'll just give it the value of one, but it will, it will call whatever is the correct value when it needs to. Update. That worked. And so then um, this right here, so this is going to happen to anything that's not sulfurous. Well, we're not calling any backstage pass update or item update on sulfurous, so we can actually just take this and put it in the update method. Get rid of that. And then um, these methods down here, since they're only being called within the item updater class, we can put those up here, and then we can get rid of any arguments that are being passed in. So this can go away, because it has access to, because of the reader, the item which are basically implementing an upper and a lower bounds, but you can travel up as long as you're below the, lo the upper bounds. So I should have kept this as those two separate methods? No, you can still. I was just checking it after making the change. 
<laughs> if, in other words, if it gets above, if you find that you're at 52, then you need to lower it back to 50. Well, that's a question for the specification of the problem. If it's at 49, then it's supposed to increase by 2, you're supposed to do You're supposed to make it go 50 instead. And then stop at 50. This won't do that curve. But if it's at negative 10 and it increases by 1, should it be negative 9? No, but, but it's already specified that the quality can't ever be below zero. Right. So it could never start at negative 10. But it could theoretically start. It's also, the, the, the question about the age briefing is valid, except that a, a, quali a quality zero item is removed regardless of what it is. Right? So you can only sell an item that has a positive quality at any point in time. Another case would be something that started out at 50 and was supposed to decrease every time would no longer decrease because... Because it's not less than yeah. That's right. true. That's true. When you, they, uh, kind of what happened is when you made that combination of the two the and two the methods. one, uh -huh. you needed to make them less than or equal to and greater than or equal to to kind of retain the same one. Okay. And it, it, it still misses a particular edge case, but it's an edge case that's out, uh, that ends up being outside the scope of this problem. So maybe I should write better, I should write different tests. <laughs> The test actually came came with it, so I actually oh, okay. didn't find anything. But um. yeah, when I when, when I when I tackled this, there were no tests. Oh really? There was just the Ruby rewrite of the of the original class. Okay. Um, and so when I did it, I did it mostly as an exercise in how would I add tests around this. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't play around. That, with that ends up being that ends up being what I did because because I, I I when I did this, it was before Jim had done his. Um, the, the only other change, uh, I like where you went. The only other change that I would make is in backstage pass updater. Um, I don't like this method, but I wasn't quite sure. Right. So, so the where I I, I think that the, 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 the you can arrive at the solution in two different ways. The the first one is you can return a negative item quality immediately if it's expired, and get rid of one of the steps into the if else okay. branch. Um, and then I think you can use the, uh, I think you can do a division by five and get back a number that is either zero, one, or two and add one to that and return it. Oh, okay. Um. I, I also am not of the fact that you have to give backstage pass updater on one. Right here? No, like in the, yeah. when you knew up. Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah. If you're giving yeah, it a how one. Do you, like, how do you well, one that? way you could do it is um, to, um, you can change your item updater to default to one on the change by. Yep. Just put equals one here. And then you just And then you can get one. rid of that, and that will just work. Oh, okay. That's the simplest way to do it. Okay. There's other ways you could do it too, and that's the easiest. Um, so I was looking at like how other people had solved this. This, mm -hmm. this is one way. That's wrong. Well, <laughs> I, if I, I didn't even care if that works. That's wrong. I, I, I just wanted to show this because I was like, I I wouldn't even know like. I, this would take me longer to understand than the original code, and I think that there's a balance between short code and like readability and understandability. And so, like this person that posted this was like bragging about how short their code yeah. is, and I was just like, "Great, that's awesome." Every, but, every, everyone think thinks, everyone awful. thinks a coding challenge is a golf challenge. Yeah. So, uh, so I just wanted to put that in there because I I, I think that's a bad way to solve it, just because it's really not understandable. Like, what do all those numbers mean? I have 56 seconds, so I think I just got a shirt. <laughs> <laughs>